What is up, guys? Me like here today. We're back in action. Minecraft Feed the Beast Unleashed. I got my buddy, that German guy, with me. What's up? What is up? Ow. Ow. You're using a tinker sword, dude. That hurts. Ow. Fine. Take hurts. take my sword. Death. You're wearing like a demon with a butterfly hat or something on it. It's crazy. Wearing like a, a saw SMM, S and M cage, like chastity belt for your face thing. <laughs> that way people can't bird, penetrate bird your mouth. Bird cage on your head. <laughs> actually, no, they can still rape your mouth. Uh, so, so guys, we're going we're gonna to talk about some changes before we actually get to the point of today's episode. And I'm going to go about some changes. I actually did this several days ago. Um... But uh, I changed all of the die makers to cyclic assembler assemblers. Yeah. And you have to put these schematics in here and you save uh, the the formula in the little blue box down at the bottom right with what you want. Hit the check mark and the um, the thing is saved. And what these work, uh, the way these work is it works just like fabric. <laughs> wow. Goes. Shut up! The way these, <laughs> shut up! Shut your mouth. Speaking all sorts of languages. The way these work is they're kind of like fabricators. They just work, uh, you know, le however you have them set up. But right now I have it set up to left to right. Then I have storage buses. So as you can see, they hold a max of 960. These haven't been used because uh, they don't. They're not using the bio setup. And you have to power them. And the only bad part of the, about this is I have to actually load up minium stones by hand. And. I mean, I could maybe set up a, a fuzzy export bus or maybe an export bus that says, you know, put a minium stone here, but it's going to get kind of weird because I don't know. I don't know. And I tried to use uh, logistic pi logistics pipes, and it only it doesn't detect, detect damage values. I can't speak today, man. It doesn't detect. Yeah. <clears throat> it doesn't detect damage values, so it only, it'll, like, detect if there's a full minium stone in here, and then... If there's not, then it'll automatically put another one in here, even though there is still a full minium stone in there. It just takes a slight bit of damage. And then I also tried build craft pipes with the toric gates, then like a toric uh, and gates, and I couldn't find anything that really works. So if you guys have any suggestions, then please leave it down below. That would be awesome. Um, we also got rid of the wireless redstone crap because that stuff doesn't work at all. Like I'd log out, log back in, and all these machines would just be running and it would say, oh, well, we have over this amount, so this would power on. But those up there wouldn't be powered on, even though they're the same frequency and stuff. Um, so I got a redneck cable right here running to all of these. Uh, Sounds like you said redneck. <clears throat> I have redneck cable. I done, redneck I, cable. I done rigged hey, this are. redneck up um, with duct tape. Um, I duct taped your mom last night. <laughs> um, hey, that's my job. And then these just have a, uh, a stop it. I'm trying to look at something. I'm supposed to say the mom jokes. These okay. just have the level emitter like right on the machine, so that's how that works. Anyways, that's uh, I think that's pretty much it, except for I completed. Oh, I also put a bunch of um, where'd you go? I'm down at the bottom. Down at the bottom. No, no, go back down. No, go back down. Go back down. Go back down. Go back. Yeah, yeah, go back down. Go back I'm stuck down. in a wall for some reason. Okay, there we go. We also uh, increased the efficiency of the base. Like, we were getting, like, 25 frames. So as you see, we're actually getting, like, I guess you can't see. But <laughs> <laughs> we're, I, I can see with my we're DX We're getting, like, double that. Yeah, we're getting, like, double that now. So uh, we, like, made stuff a lot better. Um, these redneck cables are all hooked onto this, so I can turn off the, the bio things um, manually in case I want all of the dyes to buffer up and stuff. But as you see, we have full biofuel, 3.2 million, all that kind of stuff. And um, this is a question I want to ask you guys. So we have three different, well, three different methods that I could use. At first, we were going to use combustion en engines. And if you type up combustion, let's see, combustion engines, they're the, they produce like, I, I thought these produced a lot, but they only produced five MJ a tick, and I was going to use 48 of them, so it would be 250 MJ a tick, pretty much, kind of, 240, something like that, whatever. Um, but I could also use biogenerators, which is an MFR thing. Oh. Um, and they actually produce um, 16 MJ a tick. And it, we would be keeping with the MFR theme. Or, and I've actually already started on this kind of, um, we could make a steam boiler setup, kind of like Pyro. And then we could have a dye maker that powers um, bioreactors, which makes biofuel which powers, uh, which makes steam, which gives us power with steam engines. So I think that, I think the steam engine thing would be kind of cool because we've never actually done it before, but right. people do it like a lot. So 
It'd be kind of like one of those things. We've never done it before, but pretty much everyone else has. Right, right. <clears throat> so uh, decide what you guys wants, want. God. What you guys want. We can either go biogenerators or Steve. He, he is trying to communicate with you, YouTube. Yeah. I, or I, we can I do... Think, I think he is. Yes, I'm not maybe. entirely sure. <laughs> um, or we can do bio... <laughs> or we can do combustion engines. So yeah, comment below. And that's pretty much it for new stuff. Uh, I think German has some new stuff. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, you do. You have some bee stuff. Oh, I guess. <clears throat> um, we haven't done too much with these because we kind of want to show you guys stuff on camera, but um, we have done a little bit. We pretty much uh, just automated the carpenters and stuff. Nothing majorly. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I don't have my boots on, so. Oh. Why aren't you wearing your boots? <clears throat> uh, because they were annoying because I kept stepping up stuff and, like, falling in water and stuff, and it was annoying. Oh. Okay. Well, so we have a separate ME system for the B stuff for right now. Is that the bottom one? Yeah. Yeah, it's the bottom one. Um, and so we've got set up to where if I dump in some freaking, uh, what you call it? Like honey drops? Honeycombs and yeah. stuff. They they go straight into these centrifuges. And then the centrifuges pump them right back into the The here. squeezers. Or so we get, the, we get that end result. No, not the squeezers. It's not that advanced. Whoa, whoa, man. Like, whoa. Yeah. I helped That's him free this up a little bit. Um, we'll probably have a, a, a honey tank eventually, and probably yeah. a, BNA, a B, DNA tank. Yeah. B DNA tank. Um, so I was playing with logistics pipe, and, mm -hmm. and I think I know how to... Logistics pipes are, is pretty much just like applied energistics, except for before it came out. And mm -hmm. it's all like build craft pipes. But you can mm -hmm. set it to do everything applied energistics does, and you can even have like a... A thing that you can access and see all of your items in the system. Mm -hmm. and it actually does a lot of stuff that applied energistics doesn't do. Um, it's more complicated oh. to set up though. But I was thinking um, your bees, we can use those for your bees and automatically have them analyze um, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, sounds good to me. <clears throat> I've been so, I watched I watched a two hour video on it the other day, dude. Two hours. Oh, two hours. Wow, that's intense. Yeah. Uh, because and we, yeah. It, yeah, so basically, and then this is just automatically set up to make um, sticks, but we probably won't need that anymore. Well, I guess we will. We'll need to figure out a way to pump in frames into the, um, oh, the uh, um, uh, houses? Oh, yeah. yeah. But, no, the, the bee houses, um, which we'll get to in a second, don't require frames, which is cool. And uh, okay. this over here is making the... Wait, they, they don't require in. frames? No. Um, Do they use frames, though? No. Oh. Um, so the scented paneling over here, which makes the alvearies as well. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that's the basic. Uh, we're very low on the bee stuff. We got 22 out of 212 species, uh, 12 branches. <laughs> so, did you just kill a cat? No, I didn't, I didn't do anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. I didn't do anything. Let's see. Don't Pinky, tell them, guys. Don't Pinky, tell them. Mauser, Jake. Me. Oh, whoa, what oh. happened, dude? Oh my! What, what? Okay, stop, stop. No, I didn't do anything. I, he, just, he just flew at the wall for no reason. I didn't do anything. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's go upstairs and look at the bees. Okay. Okay. Stop. Dude, you're lagging up her base with all your damn cats. Cats do not lag. <laughs> how, how do we get out of here? I don't know. <laughs> right here. Right here. Right here. Okay. <laughs> we never know how to get out of this part of the base. Um. Yeah, and I see you have freaking bee houses everywhere, dude. Yeah, so these are bee houses. They're a newer addition. Basically, they're kind of like the old um, bee houses that used to exist, except they're not as OP, but uh, they don't require frames still. So, yeah, no need to waste on frames, which is awesome. And I tested it out. I did half um, regular apiaries and half bee houses just to see the production rate, and they pretty much equal the same. So you get the same out of a just without apiary, frames. an apiary with like the best frames the uh what you call it the uh i'm forgetting what they're called the ones you get from villagers uh the proven frames yeah you get about the same production rate out of a, just a bee house with no frames so i was like oh okay we'll switch so are bee houses. houses better than alviaries then no alviaries give you more options of things to do yeah well the thing so, well i guess what i'm pretty much asking is if we get our final product bees Mm -hmm. Like let you they they have like four times. Al Alviaries are still going to be more production. Okay. Because we we can put in things. There's different cubes that can heighten the production rate and stuff. Also, like that. we have magic bees this time, so we can get into like oblivion frames and all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, all sorts. Dude, of Dude, awesome imagine stuff. making like an auto oblivion frame farm or something where it like we like capture 
fucking a wither and automatically kill it and stuff. That'd be crazy. Wow, that would that sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so. Sick. Uh, for bees so far, we have Industrious, which the main point of them is to be making pollen, which we need to make all the alveary stuff in the scented frames, so they're just there for the usage. Um, and I've got some rocky drones down here, just, uh, just because they're not really useful. Um, and then over here we've got the other, which are just stuff I've been breeding in the unwary, um, cultivated... Um, over here we've got the unusuals. The unusuals we're using for magic wax. The magic wax lets you make wax capsules, but usually the wax capsules go in stacks of 16. Oh, the this magic one has wax an unwary goes, in it. Yeah. I know, they're not all the same. No. Okay. This is a, it's a mix of bees over here. But anyways, the magic wax stacks in 64 instead of 16, which is a lot more useful, more efficient, and it works better with the automated machines. So that's why I have them. Valiance, I don't know why I still have them around. Same thing with Steadfast. I'm just kind of here. Um, yeah, we probably so we what these guys over here. I actually got it randomly out of um, just a beehive, the maroon bees, and they make tinted combs. I'm not sure what those are for yet. They make um, they make dyed honey. Uh, it's, probably, honey. It's, it's probably for glass or dye or something. Yeah, something like that. But anyways, um, we got that. That's kind of cool, dude. Mm -hmm. Dude, we can make. Oh my god, future setup. Okay, eventually, we convert the dye maker to a bee dye maker. Yeah, there's bees that make every dye. <clears throat> yeah, I know. We can... do. Wait, do they make... Um, do they only make, like, the 13 out of 16 like that does down there? Or do they make do they make brown, um, blue lapis? Yeah, we can get ones that make yeah, lapis. They, yeah, I'm pretty sure they make everything. Well, yeah, there's lapis bees. <clears throat> okay, so that's a future project, guys. Making the ultimate bees of every, every color, and we'll have... Like one bee house per color, maybe I don't know. I don't know how fast they produce, but uh, um, you can do more than that. <laughs> at least five. Well, they they actually added some stuff. I'm pretty sure you there's a you know how there's like fertility and stuff. Right, right, yeah. You, I think you they can... made a um a per, like a production thing now. I'm not yeah. sure. It's whatever. I don't know. Also, guys, yeah, we probably uh, won't over be... Over here, we have the wispies. Shut up for a second. I've been trying to say... You're something always talking. You always are the one talking. I, know, I just want to say one thing, and then you can continue. Dominate the talking. By the by the way, guys, we can... We're probably not going to show the... Um, I guess how you can get one bee to get another bee. We're not going to show all the way up to the top tier bees. If you guys want to see that, then you can look up, like, the freaking pie chart or whatever for that. <laughs> we'll just be showing, like, automation and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, I mean, you know, sometimes it's just easy. I can just be like, oh, yeah, you know, I bred this with that, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, I have the Wispy Bees over here, which I, I think that was a mix of, like, the Valiant and something else. I can't remember. Dude, these look cool. They look different. Yeah, they're, they're Thalm Craft skins, apparently. Oh, okay. That's, so these yeah. are Thombies? Yeah. Huh. Um, and uh, So what do these produce? Silky cones? They pre Yeah, they make the Silk Wisps, uh, which are used to make, like, the bee suits and a few other um, things concerning bees. Uh huh. So that's why I have these guys going. And I think we're actually going to do this time. They also make uh, propolis too, which is useful. The sticky propolis. I think this time we're actually going to do the ultimate bee setup, where eventually it'll bees will produce everything for us. Yeah, that'll be awesome. <clears throat> yeah. And then uh, lastly, over here, we, uh, uh, over here we have me falling down a fly stairs. Imperial. Yeah, the imperials, uh, which we need them for the royal jelly. Okay. Cool. There we go. I'm having nice. flight problems. So yeah, these guys make the royal jelly, which again is used to make most of the apiary, aliviary blocks and stuff. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically what we have right now. Also, um, once we get a little more into bees, I'm going to show you guys some cool things you can do with applied energistics. Um, like how you can use partitions to partition certain bees and combs into chests. And then you can just access, like, we can hook up that to the main ME system and then he can just access all his combs and all of his bees just for from a single chest. Like, it'll automatically nice. be kind of sorted. Nice. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. Oh, and one, oh, one other thing. This was a question in the past season. I think it was on vaults or something. Someone said I was a cheater uh, for getting these little, like, um, thumb flowers. There's these, uh, I forgot they're called, like, the, the silver wood plant flower yeah, or whatever. Share them. And, yeah, and then the um, there's the desert one, the blaze plant or whatever the hell it's called. And, uh, yeah, no, it's not cheating. You just shear them. Um, the thing is, they won't replant unless there's a thumbcraft within, I think it's like 50 or so blocks of them. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's 40 blocks. It, it, there has to be a thumb tree nearby, mm -hmm. basically. Um, I think it has to be a silverwood. I don't think the greatwoods count. 
Huh. But, um, so, yeah, uh, not cheating, and if you didn't know how to do it, there you go, shears. Uh, so, yeah. Awesome. How's that? So, is that everything so far? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, what's this uh, building over there? Um, no, let's, we're not looking at it. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, can you see it from here? Yeah, you can see it from here. Okay, well, it's not done yet, but, uh, um, that's actually for steam boilers. Um, ah, sneak peek, guys. Yeah, it's oh. for steam boilers. I asked if, you know, what we're going to use. But I think no matter what you guys say, um, we, we're going to use what you guys say, but I think I'm also going to do a steam boiler setup just because we haven't yet. We'll kind of show it on camera, you know, like how you do it, how we're going to do it. And it's going to be right. an industrial setup, so we're going to have, like, um, um, oh, I just flew down to the cactus farm. Wow. Uh, we're, we can have, we're going to have, like, switches for everything. It's going to be really cool. Nice. Um, okay, so on to today's thing. So to make steam boilers, um, we actually need steel, and we have no way of getting steel. So we're going to convert some of our cur customs or our current systems, and then we're also going to make some of this stuff. So I, I made um, some blast bricks enough to make uh, three blast furnaces. So where do we want to sit these blast furnaces at? Um, and they what are the blast furnaces used for? Uh, you put you put um, charcoal or coke coal and iron in them and it converts them into steel oh yeah, yeah, yeah. i remember them okay um i got a free room over here by tinkers yeah i guess yeah well that's probably not that's not big enough what no. about the one across here yeah like right here this one yeah this one's completely empty uh do you think how hmm i wonder if we can let's see one two three one two three one two three oh this would uh, i they i wonder if they can sit side by side they probably can't can they uh i don't know i've never seen more than one yeah. Um, and as you can see, obviously, we have ME cable in here, so... What if we stick them straight in the wall? We can do that. Like... Let's see. Let's, um... Oh, just way to kill the ME cables, Doc. Oh, you just bad. cut off, like, the entire ME system from upstairs. <laughs> okay, how about we pause it and we uh, come back and we'll have all this built right here. This, the, the blast furnaces. Alright. It's, e it's easy. All, all it is is a 3x3x4 three by three by and you leave two hollow blocks, so there's no, really no reason to show it on camera. Okay, guys, we're back, and uh, so what we want to do is we actually want to automate all this stuff. We got we set up the little blast furnaces here, and, yep, and yeah. behind them we what? I said, yep, we did. And in behind them we have some ME stuff set up. But before we get to that, we actually the blast furnaces only accept charcoal. Well, good thing we already have a tree farm, so we're gonna set up an automatic charcoal uh, setup right here. So I, I went ahead and taught the ME system how to make the, some of the power converter things. Mm -hmm. So we're going to set up a whole power converter system here. Oh, dang. So one, two, three, four. Oh, dang. Five. So we got an energy tester rack. We're going to set this to MIDI power and re receive. Also, did you move the lava, the lava pumps? No. Oh, you didn't? Okay. I thought you were, you said something about a chunk loader in the thing. It so. was for my, it was for my nether beast. Oh, okay. Um, oh yeah, by the way, we have bees in the nether. Whoop you do. Anyways. Nice. <laughs> so we got a uh, little test rack here, and what we're going to do is we're going to set it to a, uh, a BC uh, consumer, so it's going to uh, consume all of the MJ power. We've got an energy bridge, and then we got a IC2 MV producer. So convert it from MJs to IC2 MV. And what we got wow. here... What? I said, wow. What we got here is a induction furnace. So as you see, the induction furnace is receiving power. It's working nicely, and uh, we want to set it so it'll automatically take this wood and I make it, it and make it into charcoal. Ah, oh, creeper! What? Ah! <laughs> uh, so <we're... laughs> that was kind of random. Uh, dude, I watched this music video from some guy. I can't remember what his YouTube channel name is, but it was like about creepers, and he made like a rap song, and it was like actually really good. I I subbed to him afterwards. Huh. That's but, neat. yeah, I don't know, this is kind of funny that that showed up. Anyways, sorry. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, we want it to export wood in stacks. And then say once... I don't have any charcoal on me. Okay, what a sec. Is that what we're supposed to say? That we don't have any charcoal on it? Yeah, that's what we're supposed to tell it. Charcoal. Awesome. Charcoal! Uh, we want to set it so it will, uh... Um, oh, YouTube channel's Fat Finger. Yeah, there we go. So once we get... let's. How much charcoal do you think? 512? Sure. Why not? 
So yeah. once it reaches 512 charcoal, it'll stop exporting wood. So I'm actually going to... Boom. Oh, we actually have 200 charcoal. Um, I'm going to lock it, and then I'm going to tell it to import charcoal. Let's see. Um, we got an import bus right here. Wrench it up. There we go. Wrenched up. And then we want to... Dang, I need an ME cable. ME cable. I'll just grab ME cable. Okay, cool. So what this is going to do is it's going to export wood until it reaches 512 uh, charcoal. And then, as you can see, it's already working. Yep. Um, except for... Um, except for this actually... This doesn't have a lever on it, so I don't see how it's producing um, heat. It's supposed to have a lever on it to receive a redstone signal. That's weird. It's magical. Let's see. Uh, it's so magical. Let's. Do we have a lever anywhere? There should be levers in there. Yeah, I got a lever. Um, all sorts of levers. Now it's like. Okay, so once more. this once this reaches a hundred percent heat, it's going to do this really fast. And uh, so we got our automatic charcoal generation. Um, the tree farm, once it gets less than 5,000, it'll start going again. Oh, we won't even. Yeah, we won't even need to. Yeah, I think I'm going to set charcoal to 1,000 maybe. Okay. 1,000. Awesome. So it's going to make 1,000 charcoal. Nice. Well, let's do that. Let's go back to um, the blast furnaces over here. And... Uh, we, we're kind of getting all the systems set up for the blast furnaces. Where, which yep. side are they on? Okay, right here. I missed them completely. <laughs> um, so we want this to actually. Oh, balls, balls. We want this to um, export uh, blocks of iron and um, charcoal in here. And I think I think I can. I wonder if I set this to. Auto craft. I wonder if it's going to always craft items. Okay, so it's loading the the um, iron blocks in here. I don't think they're melting. Uh, they should. No, it's it's not working. It'll or maybe work. it is. It'll work. It. I think it just takes time though. It takes a lot of time. Okay, so if I set this to auto craft, it won't actually load the charcoal in there. Um, I wonder if we can. I wonder if it works from the top at anywhere. Like if I set a second. Oh yeah. Uh, Export bus. So let's see. Let's oh balls. So let's set a second export bus right here and see if this will actually load charcoal in here. Oh, it does. Okay, awesome. Move stacks of items, and then I'll move the charcoal right here. Move the charcoal right here. Load this. Charcoal. Stacks of items. Awesome. Okay, cool. so it's doing all these blocks of items. And then now we want to say, if we reach a certain amount of steel blocks, to stop exporting, um, to stop exporting uh, iron in here. So... We're going to say, let's see, 100, 128 steel blocks. Um, let's see, steel blocks. Awesome. 128 steel. Awesome. Okay, so now that's, I think it's pretty much done, dude. That We have a fully automated uh, steel farm. It automatically makes charcoal for us. It'll automatically, whenever we get low on steel, automatically do steel blocks right here. Nice. So yeah, that's awesome that you can put multiple X. You can like put the export buses anywhere on the top, and it'll work. Yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. neat. And then I think the import buses only work down here, really. I guess we can set it to do. Yeah, you already you already have set. That's fine. Yeah, I already have them set. Uh, um, so we already have some steel blocks where we were playing those with this before seven. So we're gonna need a, a shit ton of steel to make steel yeah, boilers. Like mega shit. We on need your face we time. need over a thousand steel. So that over, means over over nine million. 
So 128 um, should be over a uh, thousand steel. 128 Sorry, blocks. I think so. Maybe. Yeah. And and I think this is everything. If I'm not forgetting something. Uh, I'm probably forgetting something now. Do you, do you remember to wear protection? Oh shit, dude. Damn. Uh, see, you always mess something see, up. See, we right? we already have 400 and some. It's at 80 or 70 percent heat, and now it's um going through the wood fat quick style. I kind of I think I'm fast. gonna convert everything to induction furnaces just because they do two items at a time. Even yeah. Though, even though electric, handy. even though electric furnaces can be faster with upgrades, it's kind of annoying to make all the upgrades, and these are already fast enough. But yeah, I think that's it. We uh, con we covered uh, steel production, how to automate it. We covered uh, power converters. We did some more ME stuff, and it's pretty cool. And yep. uh, I kind of like having all this stuff down here. I like this whole under area to just kind of do a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's handy. Mm -hmm. But I think that's going to be it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, click the oh. crap out of the like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Make sure to check out my yeah, buddy. Click that like button. Just, yeah. just snuggle, struggle. What, what's help, the old power help. thing? Struggle, snuggle? Yeah, struggle, yeah. snuggle. Struggle, and, snuggle that, that like button to death, guys. Yeah, we'll make sure to struggle, snuggle it at least an odd number of times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, we love your faces, and we'll see you next time. We'll see you guys next time.